And uh, welcome back to the Australian Mixed Ultimate Championships 2015, where we're here looking at uh, number two seed, Big Show, from Melbourne versus number 15 seed, Racket and Disc Club, also from Melbourne. Uh, we've got Big Show in black starting off right of screen. I think they've got the disc to pull and they'll be starting on D. Summing up their opposition who are ready. Uh, Owen's over there with his hand up as I can see. And uh, looks, I think this should be a really good game overall. Uh, just waiting, a few more seconds left before the pool comes up. That's uh, highly anticipated, this number two seed, uh, Big Show. I think a lot of people have said that they could go all the way. And so just from that, we're, we're expecting a really big things from them in this game. There goes the pool, right to left of screen. Picking out the disc, just uh, a simple start here. Nice movement up the field. Big Show a bit slow coming down the field, but they get it through. We've got the Rack and Disc Club still moving up quite nicely. I think Big Show is just uh, working out their opposition here at the moment. It's a nice man on man D, forcing to the far side at the moment. Getting a few unders. And nothing really big yet, just working up the field. It's looking good, nice movement there, but there's the that's first turner. So here we're going to see Black Team. See what they do, probably putting a few big hucks we're hoping for, maybe a few layouts. Although they're all quite athletic and they'll be able to run that disc down. There's a nice bit on the disc there. That's what we like to see. There's the huck that goes up. It's really big there. That should go into the end zone for a score. Nice and easy. Well done, Big Show. 1-0. Big pull from the GAC there. Start off point number two in this one. Is that going to heise it back in? I don't know. It could just come back. It's coming back in. What a lovely pull by the GAC there. Perfect skill there right into the end zone. And able his teammate to run the disc down to get the, the uh, man on man D set up. Again, there's not a lot of wind going on today, but it's a very hot day here in Adelaide, sunny Adelaide. And uh, it's a, a very balmy 30, just over 30 degrees here at the moment. And uh, I think we're about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So the players have had a big day at the moment and uh, maybe running a little bit tired. We're just coming out of winter, so they're all used to cold weather. They're looking a bit sluggish. There goes up the first big one by Aaron D. I think that is that's a nice score by them as well to even it up one all. So here goes uh, the pool. And at the moment we've got a slight breeze which is coming across the field, maybe slightly left to right and from far side to near side. So in that respect, both of the scoring goals at the moment have been going upfield into the wind. But yeah, the wind is picking up a little bit here at the moment. So there's a bit of a flow. There's a potential for a turnover there. So that's nice. We get the turnover. And straight away, we get a, another turnover. So not good usage there by R&DL. But uh, Big Show will get that disc back so shortly. So Big Show just put up a, a big hut for the Gaxter to pull down out of big air. Doesn't get phased at all. Puts it in the end zone. And I think that's going to be another easy upwind score. Lovely work. Big show, 2-1. There goes the pull from Big Show. It's a nice high one. That will come back. I'm wondering if it's going to go out on the other side. Looks like it will for a brick, I'm sure, that's being called as. So looks like Big Show is going to set up a zone here on that uh, pull that went out on the brick. And the RNDL already showing that they can move it through that zone, uh, showing a few reasonable sized holes anyway, and just moving up quite easily. In fact, a bit too easy. I'd be surprised if Big Show tried to put that zone on again, but uh, they might just to, to work it out maybe for later on in the tournament. We aren't expecting a lot of wind here in Adelaide over the next few days, mainly heat though, and that's a uh, that's pretty much the walk in there. So, yep, good demonstration there by RDL, and we have a score of two all. Nice pull by the racket and disc club. So, I think I said RDL before, but RDC obviously have just been picked up by my co host here, Declan. He's doing a great job uh, behind the scenes. So, Big Show just moving it out of the end zone from that pull quite nicely. RDC just quite content to go man at the moment putting that force on. That's a nice force. And they're not getting much upfield. So that's a bit disappointing from uh, Big Show, I feel, given that they're ranked number two. Moving it around the back end zone, but still not getting a lot of field, upfield movement. He wants the big one, I'm pretty sure. That could come back in. It is going to come back in. Now they're going to get it. 
We need a good big lay. We had the big lay. That's what we love to see here at Ultimate, uh, but it's a turnover. So we have a call on that play. I'm not too sure whether it was a travel or a foul, but it's coming back to uh, the thrower Gak at the moment, who, um, looking at his eyes, he definitely wants something deep. He's not content with getting these unders and getting small gains. Uh, and that's what we expect from the big man being all Australian a number of times. Bit of discussion still going on there about what's going to happen with the setup, who was where. We'll get that sorted out in a sec. Again, it's short throws off. That's the one we want going longer. Can we get a bit of action in there? And it's being pulled down very nicely. Strong, strong grab, but we could have a call on that. Someone's calling something. And it looks like we're getting a score on that. So another score to uh, Big Show, 3-2, uh, I believe. Big show with the pull here. Uh, and we're just trading points at the moment here. So both teams a bit lackadaisical as, as far as like high end frisbee goes, but just quite content to move it and conserve their energy. And just start, uh, no one was looking for that one. Probably could have gone a little bit further out in front of her to float. Didn't carry. So racket with that turnover we're going to have a big big one going up here that was seeing that all the way he wanted that big pull and he's got the score so it's the first break we've got so big should actually pull away by two points the score is now 4-2 here's the pull from big show who got that last uh, point going left to right it's the first left to right point that we've seen that's going to land just in Nice catch there, deep in the end zone. R&DC moving the disc nicely. Seeing a bit more excitement here from the sideline now, and that's good to see the sideline get in on the action. Another great bit on the disc by Big Show, but they still move it up. Field very nicely, and there's a big throw. Gak saw that one coming on. We'll probably get that one, unless he can be boxed out. We've got a couple of nice Big Show plays in there on that D, nice. Gak pulling, coming back for the disc, wants the big one. There it goes up. Tra trademark. We've got about three white shirts in there. Doesn't get the and a quick turnover. No R and DC content just to hold on to it for now. Now they get that. They want to give go upfield. That's a nice move under. Nice movement by R D C at the moment. Again, the wind coming slightly across the field towards the commentary box. This one over the back there should be quite a comfortable score. Was that a strip? It looked like a strip from here. The call has been played as a strip, even though it was a lovely bit on the disc. And we're getting a, a goal there. Lovely, nice. Uh, so RDC pull one back, scores 4-3. Pull from RDC going right to left. Now RDC one point behind. They're doing very well considering their 15th seed against two seed here. Gak puts another big one up for his receivers who read that very well. It's nice moving across the field. Wait for a cut back. No one's on the mark. Now they're back on the mark. Dive still not on the mark. Free as you like. Lovely. And Big Show get another score to move two points ahead. Score is now 5-3. Oh, a big pull from the Huckster Gak. That's coming down, lovely. That'll probably roll out the back, I'm guessing. So I'll bring that up to the front of the line. Just being brought up to the front of the line from where it rolled out in play immediately. R and DC moving up the field. Almost to the halfway mark now, and that's to the halfway mark now. Once the big huck in as the runner's going deep into the end zone. That's a strong grab there and a strong strong point from the Racket and Disc Clubs. They uh, move within a point now. Score is 5-4. Racket and Disc Club pulling. Look, we'd like to... Big thank you for Ultimate Evolution and Tournament Director Dennis Shine for putting on uh, this 
Australian Mixed Ultimate Championships 2015 here in Adelaide. They've done an awesome job, as have all their crew. So we've got Big Show moving it up the field at the moment. And it looks like we've got uh, RDC want to put their zone on now. The wind has picked up a little. It's not extreme by any stretch of the imagination, but it is enough to maybe keep the disc higher and let it float a bit longer, uh, which is why they're putting their zone on. Both of these teams obviously have very good man-on-man -man D and good zone as well. There goes the big one. It goes through the zone. Just wants to get a bit of yardage on that one at the moment. Happy to give it up for that for that distance. And there should be good opportunity here for the Racken and Disc Club to move it back. Racken and Disc Club in white. So good movement. Halfway up the field now for Racken and Disc Club. The wind's going to take that. Uh, wind is going right to left at the moment. So the wind really has picked up a little bit now. It's probably more suitable for the zone now, I'm thinking. So a good point for them to put that zone on. Just on the sideline at the moment, close to the sidelines, going back into the end zone. We'd really like to see a Callahan going on here. There's a prime opportunity for it, that's for certain. Both, these discs have shown, both of these teams have shown they've got great quality, great skills and being able to do it. Just need something like that for a quick, easy turnover. And big pickup, they just want to get this score straight away. Still just outside the end zone here, Racken Disc Club. I don't see any problem, except that didn't hit its target. Bit unfortunate there. Bring up to the front, Handler's asking for wings, uh, not feeling that uh, his team is playing wide enough. They're all a bit stagnant in the middle, but that doesn't matter now because they're moving it up through the middle, which is exactly what they need to do. Make a bit of yards, get it out of the end zone so they're not under pressure anymore. Got a lot of tight movement and they're just letting, letting that go that that was a poor decision there or could be a skill execution. Either way, Racken and Disc Club now have the disc back. They'll probably try and put it long because they have a wind advantage here going from right to left. Lots of excitement here from the sideline getting into the action. Moving it down the far side. Wind has died down a bit and there's a turnover again. So this point, a few turnovers. Timeout. Okay, so we had a timeout then. Uh, offense, defense set up, moving it across the field. So I think Big Show really want a lot more cross field movement. A lot from their wide wings moving up and down the field. While they they can move it in the middle, stuff like that's going to happen if it uh, sits a bit too high and they can't get that uh, pulled down. Racken and Dis Club making a really good show of themselves now, evening up the score five all. Uh, nice flick hut there. It's staying up. It might go out on the far side though for a brick. No, it just stays in nicely. That was a good pull then. Looking for the long throw again. Let's it sit. There's opportunity for a defense and a second grab. Didn't quite get that. That was exciting stuff there. So R&DC moving up the field again. I think there's been a quick call on that. I'm not too sure what it is. Look, looking like the disc will go back to the thrower, whatever the call was. Just tapped in, moves across the field. If anything, the end that we're at at the moment is going to be the end where we're going to get Callahan, I feel, because the wind is still coming right to left and it's just picked up a little bit. Travel is the call on that throw. 
Discus tap back in. No. Still waiting for some people to get back into position. Now I think we're set up. Just being tapped back in. Coming across on with a big hark. It's, going, it's sitting. Can we get a box out appropriately? That's a lovely reverse hand grab by the Racket and Disc Club player. Moving it in nicely. I feel that Big Show could put more effort into the defense at the moment. They're definitely letting R and DC into this game. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we want to see from Big Show. Something which sees them back into the game. Scores tied up at 5 all. Moving across the field. Now we've got a strong wind coming pretty much straight from that uh, far side across into us. Big Show just content to play with their man D. That was an easy score then. Uh, Big Show a bit lax on their defence. I think Heat getting to both teams. But that actually means for the first time R&DC pull ahead 5-6. Wind coming from right to left, same direction as the pull was just made by Racket and Disc Club. And that's going to land just in the back corner. That's a lovely pull. Brings it in from that corner. Moves it up. There's a chance there for a Callahan opportunity. Now that moving it outside the end zone. Still under a bit of pressure as RNDC put on a very, very tight zone. A few of those give goes are what we want to see. Owen just getting his body in the way to prevent that run on. There's good work there defensively. And Big Show just jammed up at the moment in their own defensive uh, zone, end zone. Get it through, that was a nice one. Through to Kelly, back again, easy popping. Almost hands on that disc. The wind wanted that one as much as the defense did. Moves back, leaves out the middleman. Trying to get uh, that zone run down. That's probably going to be their best bet at the moment because we're uh, moving up uh, almost close to the mid-30s in terms of temperature. So if any zone has to run, they're going to be tired. They're going to run themselves ragged, as was seen just then. Normally, I think in normal weather, he would have laid for that one. There's old one to give go there. He wants to just put that ahead of someone so that they don't have to run too much. Content to dump it back halfway up the field. And that should be an easy score to RNDC, who now pull ahead by two points and uh, creating quite the upset against Big Show. So Big Show just called their second time out this half and really the instructions there were, let's not give up, let's not throw the uh, baby out with the bathwater. I think was uh, one of the comments. And RDC just saying, look, we're doing well. Let's keep it up. Let's keep this uh, pressure on making good decisions. And uh, we'll beat number two seed. So again, RDC putting a nice zone on. Gak just getting through that. That's going out the back, but there's going to be a lovely takedown. It was nice effort there for D. So, Big Show pulling one back, uh, RDC ahead, 7-6. Big Show managing to pull one point back, but they're still down by one to this 15th seed, Racket and Diz Club, which doesn't mean that they're a bad team by any stretch of the imagination, as they've been showing on the field at the moment. They've definitely been utilising their skills, been playing within themselves and playing to their strengths. And that's given them this one-point lead up until now. And RDC are looking to keep that lead to the end. Half is at nine, currently scores 6-7 to RDC. So RDC looking to get the next two points so they don't have to do too much running around. That's a lovely second grab, actually, from the uh, defensive big show for the turnover. That was a high one with a nice hand in there. There's going to be a foul called on that, though. No call. 
So that's a turnover. That's a, a good turnover by the Racket and Disc Club. Unfortunately, with the throw, that was just a little bit too high to the receiver. Just with a nice big round, the player grab it, take it down. Second effort layout and takes it nicely. That gives RDC within one point of half, taking half. Well done. So looking at the body language of the two teams here, Big Show just very looking very relaxed on the line as they're waiting for that pull. Whereas after that point, Racken and Disc Club, who got the point, they're actually starting to celebrate a bit more. So they definitely wanted it. And that part of the celebration there with a big D, that's what I'm talking about. Big Show just a little bit lackadaisical at the moment, not really looking as though they want this win at all. I think they've had two earlier wins in the day uh, and they're quite content to rest on those laurels. That's nice movement there. Big Show just putting on a simple man, D. That was a nice grab. Could have gone over the head, but nice, nice leap. Taking the safe options. As I said before, RDC just using their strengths here. There's a foul called there. Contested foul, full 10 seconds, I believe, on the throw at the moment. So that's some, oh, that's nice, nice defensive effort there. The Gak will go long, he will go long, he wants that long one. Nice, nice stopping there by the white defense, stopping that uh, long hut. Gak again wants it, looking for someone long. White all over that. Oh, that's exactly what Big Show wanted to, to pull it back. So edging closer to half time, but it's 7-8 uh, to RDC. Jack with a, a nice big pull. Again, that sort of uh, wind's died down a bit, so it's, it is all a bit all over the place. And uh, we've actually got a, a dry sort of hot day here, which uh, many of these players, as I said before, are not used to. Josh with the disc, quite content for the give go around the corner, move up a bit, and that's coming out and will come back. I don't think she'll chase that down though, but a, a bit of yardage at the moment, and I'm sure that uh, if Gat kicks his hand on the disc, he'll just want to uh, send it right back down the other end. So Gak's called for a short horror because he wants that long run. He wants someone to go deep from a, a short position. That's what he wants. That's l nice marking there. Not confident at all in giving it back. Now get the big one up. Can I get a bit of boxing going on there? Never beat Gak one on one in that air. There goes up the hammer. If she reads it nicely, that'll be a score. So, big show, two points down, and now managed to level it up eight all with one point to go before half time. No, there has been a call. Sorry, I take that back. Contested in call, as you can see there by the um, stipulation on the field that they're saying that she hopped it in. Double motion, almost. I don't see this being a problem though. I still feel as though even if she can take it from the front of the end zone, Big Show should get this point, assuming that uh, they don't have any skill errors going on. In for a small pass, they got scored. So, this will be a big point going into half. Scores is tied up at eight a piece, and that's just out. So there'll be a brick on that one. 
Owen Davies with the disc moving it up nicely across the field to the far side. That looks like it could be oh, almost a point there to take half that. Turned over just out of her reach there. Uh, tournament director would also like to give a big uh, shout out to Tasman Mitchell, the water boy. Uh, he's doing a fantastic job keeping all the players hydrated on this sunshiny day here in Adelaide. This goes up for the other way. Big show content. They'll be able to walk this in. It'll buy up a bit of time now. And that's an oh ground strip. Was not able was not able to hold that. She probably didn't need to lay out at all on that one. Just could have taken that and just walked away with it. Both teams getting into this on the sideline. A very important point. I think there's been a pick called somewhere upfield. Probably didn't affect that play, so the disc will stay where it is. Tapped into play. Just, just out of her reach. Gak probably looking for the long put or the hammer. Works it into the middle nicely. Kelly with a diss back to Gak. He wants that hammer or the big throw. Probably have to put it across the field as he does. Just saying that. And that's up and across. I think Gak's got that if it isn't out the back. But just out of the big man's reach, unfortunately. White will get the diss back. Just walk back up to the line after just floating out the back, just out of the reach of the big Gaxter. Probably really should get him out of there. There's a hammer that goes up, should be caught fairly easily by Owen, moves across the field to the far side, comes back into the middle, almost halfway up the field, looking for something deep. There's an in-cut there going quite nicely. There's a call on the play, though. There's a stoppage working something out here. Just check back in. I think Gak will want to try and get something off in terms of defensively. That's a nice handoff there. Back with the cart. Looks that one off going across for the give go. It's a nice break through. That's a lovely layout. Dude. That'll go into the highlights for sure. Towed that in nicely. Big show back to Gak. And across the field, working it across nicely. The sort of semi-zone that uh, the Racken and Disc Club have put on has worked quite nicely for them. The test will be in this point, though. There's going to be a foul called on that by the defence. Probably uncontested, I suspect, and come in on zero. Gak directing his troops. Gets a fresh 10 on the clock. Gives them time to set something up. Probably go for the hammer across or down the line. Whatever you choose will be okay. Looking at the foot placement. And it looks like Big Show are going to take half 9-8. Well done, Big Show. And we're back in to start the second half. Big Show looking like they've uh, got a bit more fire in, in their pants at the moment by the way they're moving that disc, which is really good to see. A bit more urgency overall. They're putting it up. That should be an easy grab for the GAC to bring down. Nice try to box him out, though, by the Racket and Disc Club. Looking for an easy point off to Kelly. And Big Show take the first point of the second half to uh, lead by 2 10 8.
Big Show now showing more of the skills which we expect to see from them from the number two seed in this tournament. Bigger thanks to AV Plus and OTTV for broadcasting and showing this uh, tournament and the highlights as well as the next match to come which will be the showcase game at the 2015 Australian Mixed Ultimate Championships here in Adelaide, South Australia. So he's bringing it up to the middle where I think it went out because it didn't come in. It should have laid out for that a bit earlier to get his hands on that disc. Tao Brain going deep to try and make something there. Disc back to Kelly and a turnover. I didn't see that. I've got a few people in front of me. My apologies for that one. But Big Show turning that one over, allowing Racket and Disc Club back into the game again. Only two points the difference. They've never been more than two points apart so far in this game. So it's a very tight game between the number two seed Big Show and number 15 seed Racket and Disc Club, both teams from Melbourne. Racket and Disc Club just a fraction away from that end zone, looking to make something of it. Probably could have hopped in a bit closer to the line there, but just happy to use their skills and walk it in like that. Rack and Disc Club bringing it back. Score now. Big Show 10, Rack and Disc Club 9. There's that nice flat forehand hut that he's got. And uh, a Big Show moving it from the far side to the near side quite quickly, making up half a field's distance quite quickly as well. Throwing it back to the middle to Kelly. She'll put it off to someone nicely. Not quite in. Has to run back to the beginning of the line so that she's not travelling. Needs to throw it in from just outside the line for those who are unfamiliar with the rules of Frisbee. Well, ultimate, as we like to say. Kelly receiving that disc again. Big Show. Pull the lead out to two again. Big Show 11, RDC 9. False start just going on there. Okay, RDC. Nice movement straight down the middle there with a host stack man-on-man -man defense by Big Show. Just out of her reach then wasn't able to let that stick in the hands. Maybe she'd buy some of those gloves which we've got on sale here. Um, picking up the disc, Big Show just uh, happy to have it in the middle at the moment. Dumping, conceding a little bit of ground just to make sure that they value that disc and treasure it with the game score being so close. Nice undercuts and uh, RDC letting those undercuts go. There's one that's going to go big, catch this one. No problems whatsoever. Well done, Big Show. Uh, big Show up, 12-9. So Big Show now with a bit of urgency going back. They take the first three-point lead of this match and the sideline from Big Show getting into the match as well a lot more now. Just lets that drop, runs it back to the front of the line. Happy to do that to gain a few easy metres. So they certainly don't want to drop behind anymore with that uh, three-point lead at the moment. That's a really nice early leap. And we've got a three-on-three -three situation there. Looking to make those cuts. And left easy in the end zone. So now RDC also with uh, some urgency back. Nice score from them to bring the score back to 12-10. RDC with a pull. Moving it upfield quite nicely. It's good to see that even with this uh, hot weather we've got in play here in Adelaide, that both teams are actually now seeing the urgency and uh, importance of this match. So that turnover there, too easy. Nice movement back quite quickly to get Big Show unawares. Not quite in position, although they've slowed it down now. There's an easy in as well. Taylor Brown wants the big foot block and manages to put some pressure on the throw anyway, which is off. 
Gat will want that big one. And if he looks at Teo, he'll probably get that, looking at that height discrepancy. Quite sure of that one. Needs to move it in. There it is. Nice hop and skip. Should get it in soon. No, holding it up. Okay, so RDC still with an opportunity here to get it back. There we are looking. Does it around for the break. That's, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Just there. Just gave them a look in. That's all they need to get back in this game. Two points on the line. Diskin now. That's better. Nice try to lay out. No one's going deep for him. He wanted someone deep. They weren't going. That's nice. Takes a few extra steps there. Man, unmanned free player. Big Show don't want to see too much of that going on. That was a throwaway. Miscommunication going on there. The roll gives him about an extra five metres up the field, which just plays into Big Show's hand. And that's the score which Big Show wanted. They extend to their three-point lead again, which they had a few points ago. Big Show now ahead 13-10. Okay, so we've just had uh, the full-time buzzer go. What that means is we play this current point, work out the score and add one to the top, and then play to that. Owen with a semi-look away down the field. Looking at RDC, really want this point back so they don't have to get too many points in the final wash-up. Remembering that we finish this point and then add one to the highest and play to that. And that's an easy score by Racken and Disc Club to make the score 13 12. So we're now playing to 14. So Racken and Disc Club with that pull, they're two points behind Big Show, and game is to 14. Currently, Big Show on 13, Racken and Disc Club on 11. Big Show definitely don't, don't want to turn this one over. They want a strong show. They want to finish this one out strong, which will give them confidence going into tomorrow's matches, I think. They, they don't really want to have to give up a game to the 15th seed here. Conversely, obviously, Racket and Disc Club quite happy to go away with a win against the second seed. And player free in the end zone. Big Show wind it up 14 11. Thank you very much. Thank you to Alti TV for showing us this game. So, commentator Phil Shields, over and out.